Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Fishing Baron C. Uh, I'm here aboard the uh, the good ship Borg, um, and, uh, and we're going to assimilate as many fish as we possibly can. Uh, resistance is futile, um, and possibly so are my efforts to do some fishing. Uh, let's get underway. Now then, I have elected to go fishing at, uh, at, well, one of the worst times of the year, I would imagine. Um, uh, the good ship Borg and, uh, and I are, uh, we're new to one another, um, but, uh, but I, I'm sure we're going to have a splendid relationship. Uh, I've got two sets of long lines uh, that I've, I've got baited up, and, uh, and we're going to go, uh, well, we're going to go hunting for redfish, uh, primarily. Um, so I've, uh, I've got some krill. Uh, on one set of hooks, and uh, and I've got some crab, uh, which is a good kind of catch-all bait. Uh, on the other, uh, anyway, we're going to head out to uh, to our waypoint here. Let's uh, zoom it in a little. Uh, I'm quite wisely, given that the weather's duff, uh, I've quite wisely opted to stay in the cabin um, because uh, uh, I know the score. Uh, right there we go, and uh, and that's us. We're we're away. Uh, we're out of here. Look at that. Uh, I definitely need one of those and some some robust young men, uh, ideally with beards and woolly hats, uh, to keep me uh, to keep me company. Uh, but my uh, my career has only just started. I've got eighty eight thousand krona, uh, which sounds like quite a lot, but I think is uh, is less than a hundred quid. Um, so uh, no, it's no, it's not, it's not not that bad. I've got about eight grand, I think. Um, how many crowns to the to the pound? It's no, it's ten. Do some maths, man. Yeah, I've got about eight grand. I got just short of nine grands. Let's say that. Well, you just did. Very good. Uh, anyway, here we go. We're uh, we're underway. The weather forecast isn't brilliant, uh, as you can see. It is pretty dreary out. Uh, but um, but I'm not uh, I'm not downhearted. Uh, let's, uh, let's rock the hooter. I need a I need a more beefy hooter. Uh, let's uh, let's be honest. Um, anyway, as you can see from the in fact, let's pull up the uh, let's pull up the big map. Hold on, I still need to learn where all the buttons are. I'll, I'll find it. Where's the Where's the big map? Weather? Yes, no. Pick up the radio to call for help. Well, we're not there yet, but give it time. Um, interior lights. Now let's run for stealth. Uh, we don't want the fish to know us to, to, to know that we're coming, but we'll we'll, we'll bang the work lights. Uh, we'll, we'll bang the work lights on there. We've got a searchlight as well, which is very helpful. Oh yes, I'm uh, I'm searching. I'm looking for love. Uh, no, good. All right, no, don't need a searchlight. Running lights off, on. No, we'd better turn those on. Keep it legal uh, is, the, uh, is the best way to be. And a uh, bit more hooter. Uh, now, there is a fast travel option, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know that's, uh, that's optional. You don't get to, you don't have to soak in the atmosphere quite as much if you, uh, if you use fast travel. Uh, anyway, here we go. There we go. So you can see my uh, my waypoint is all the way down there. I'm uh, I'm ripping it along here at a, a mighty eight and a half knots, uh, properly thrashing the engine. Uh, I've no idea if I've enough fuel for this particular job. I'm going to assume that I have, uh, largely because if uh, if I were to leave port without enough fuel, that would make me some kind of Charlie, and, uh, and I'm not one of those. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the uh, the weather forecast. Uh, today, one knot of breeze. That's pretty good. Uh, six uh, octas of cloud cover. That's uh, that's plenty. And uh, and we've got 91% chance of pre precipitation. Uh, given that uh, precipitation is indeed occurring, that's uh, that's all good then. So there you go. That's your weather forecast uh, from me, uh, uh, fisherman uh, Colonel Failure, out here in the Barents Sea. Um, yeah, we've got quite a long way to go. So, uh, so I could I could fill this with uh, with nautical tales, or I could press the fast travel button as soon as I find it. Right, I located the fast travel button, and uh, and here we are. A little while later, obviously, uh, not only did I fast travel, the time moved as well, and uh, and we're coming up on uh, on our location now. All species is pretty pretty bright around here, but uh, but there you go, redfish. This is redfish central. Um, now with my secondary bait choice. Uh, we've also got a fighting chance at getting Pollock, and uh, and cod is almost non-existent at the moment. Uh, but this is, bizarrely, uh, the hottest spot 
uh, for, for COD right now. So, um, it, on the off chance that we snag some COD, uh, that, you know, there's good bucks to be had there. Um, and, uh, and I certainly won't turn it down if we happen to get some. Uh, so, uh, so here we go. We've got, uh, how long, how far are we away? Uh, 600 meters. Uh, we're probably already in the danger zone. Um, and that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's bang on the, uh, bang on the sonar. Uh, there you go. There's a fish. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and, uh, hopefully we should see some, uh, some fairly rich pickings, uh, in the, uh, in the nearish future. Uh, the only thing I'm not, there you go, that's a redfish, look. That's, we, we just went past that one. We'll ease it back a bit. I think, uh, I think tearing along at, uh, at max, uh, max velocity is not necessarily going to do us any favours. Uh, but we're going to try and get to the, uh, the hottest spot before we, uh, before we set our lines. Uh, we are line fishing at the moment. I don't have nets. I don't believe in it. I think it's unsporting. Um, uh, although that's my excuse. Probably can't afford them. Probably can't afford a net at the moment with my uh, uh, with my meagre bank balance. Uh, but I'm I'm saving up for some kind of super cruiser uh, kind of boat kind of deal uh, in order to do this sort of thing. I don't know if super cruisers are available. Uh, there's another fish. Look, uh, and my uh, my fish identification is uh, is. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for at the moment? Worthless. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've no idea what one breed of fish uh, versus another. That's not a fish. That's going to be a whale. Well, it's not really what we were coming for, but uh, but let's give it a fly past. Um, I believe that, uh, that given that we're Norwegian, uh, we can claim that we're doing something for, for scientific research. Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure whether the Norwegians are on board the whaling band. Uh, or not these days. Oh, that was good. Hey, fl Flippy the Flipper. Stay away from my hooks. Uh, accursed sea mammoth. Um, uh, I don't want, I don't wish to lose them. Right, there's the, uh, there's a little marker boy there. Uh, oh, and, oh, we've got, uh, the pickings are becoming richer uh, at the current time. Uh, as, because uh, we've got the sonar on. Uh, not only can it detect fish, also, uh, uh, also torpedoes. Uh, oh, actually, this this all looks pretty promising. This all looks pretty promising. Keep uh, keep us going. That's it. Get us uh, a little bit. Uh, there you go. Right. This looks like a great area. Put the brakes on. Brakes on. Brakes on. No flipping boats. I tell you, man. They they don't uh, they don't want to pick up speed too quickly. And then as soon as they have picked up speed, they don't want to stop. Let's uh, keep it going. That'll do. Stop. Cease. Right, let's uh, let's go about setting a line. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's press the set gear button. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to read the tutorial to you. Uh, long line fishing is a commercial fishing technique commonly used in the Barents Sea. It uses a long line called the main line. Oh, yeah, you see the crossover going on. With baited hooks attached at intervals uh, by means of branch lines called snoods. Of course they are. Uh, to deploy a long line, you need to choose a number of hooks and the type of bait you wish to use. A uh, long line should stay in the sea for a minimum of 8 hours before you pick it up. Line must be picked up before 48 hours have elapsed or else it will be lost. Uh, long lines cannot be placed within 50 meters of other fishing gear uh, and will have a decreased yield if they're within 100 meters. Whew, there you go. Right, okay, I've got it. Yeah, fine. Uh, now, where's my crab? We're, we're going to go crab here. Or are we? No, we're going to crab here, and then we'll move up to the marker, and uh, and we'll bung the krill in. Uh, in fact, look at this lot. Yeah, okay, we've got a good chance here. Set a 250 hook long line baited with crab. Yes. Bosh. And then what? Just just drive? Well, the, the boat seems to have taken off of its own volition. Uh, and... and well, okay. Yeah, all right. We, we seem to be... It seems to be doing stuff. I, I'm not entirely sure what's happening. But there we go. No, I think that's it. I think that is now the marker of where my... Uh, of where my line is. Uh, let's uh, let's just apply the brakes here gently. Because um, I want to make sure that, uh, that there is some kind of marker um, on the map to show me where that is. Because obviously if uh, there is no kind of marker... No, no, no. There we go. It's all good. 
It's all good. Right, okay, yep, fine, good. And then uh, let's carry on over here and we'll set our uh, our primary our primary line here. Uh, now, it's the, it's the primary line because uh, we're targeting redfish in particular. Um, and, uh, and therefore we've got high hopes. Uh, crab is a, a relatively cheap bait to use. Um, but we want to use it uh, because uh, reasons. Uh, it, it's, it's got a good kind of... It, it is, uh, by very definition, a catch-all solution uh, to your fishing. I've arrived at my final waypoint. Goody gumdrops. Uh, right, I'm going to go just a bit further because we want to make sure we're at least 100 metres away from the uh, the previous uh, previous setup. We'll ease it back some. I'm going to get Roy Scheider on the back, uh, chunking some krill uh, out into the uh, out into the ocean. Uh, if I had Roy Scheider, I, I probably would do. Uh, there we go. Look, look, look at this. We've got lots of customers here, and that is a red fish. Therefore, I'm going to assume that that's redfish. Uh, oh yeah, lots of redfish. Good. Right, here we go. Right about here. Put the brakes on. Do that. And a bit of this. Bit of that. Park. This'll do. Right. Fling out the other one. Uh, yep. Fling out my krill line. And then uh, and then set sail. Or, or set. Outboard motor. Inboard motor. It's an inboard motor. Uh, right, okay. Smashing. And then uh, once these are set, I need to wait about eight hours or more uh, before we can uh, before we can retrieve our, uh, our our cargo. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to park up here and uh, and and probably drink quite a lot of skull uh, while I uh, while I wait for that to happen. Uh, where are we now? Seven a.m. So about uh, about three o'clock this afternoon. Maybe a little bit later. Uh, we'll give it just just slightly more time, and uh, and we'll go see what we want. Right then, uh, I have uh, I've now used up sufficient time. Uh, I did. It, I, I went for a bit of a drive. Uh, I'll be honest with you, um, uh, and this to me suggests that perhaps what I should be doing is uh, is setting eight lines at eight hourly inter uh, at hourly intervals, and then uh, and then coming back later uh, to to pick them up, so that you're not just spent the day bobbing around in the middle of, uh, of quite a chilly bit of water uh, waiting for, for stuff to happen. Uh, anyway, these, uh, this is line one here and it's been out for, for eight hours now. Uh, so we're going to go haul it back in and, uh, and see what we've won, uh, if anything. Uh, I've, I've no idea what to expect. This is, uh, this is effectively the second tutorial, I think. Um, I, I did the first one. Uh, but I did that a couple of weeks ago, and I've since forgotten absolutely everything that I may have picked up during that time. Uh, I've got the fundamentals, a uh, bit, of, bit of boat driving. Uh, right, here we go. Now then, we should. There you are. See? See, I, I know something. And uh, ease it down, ease it down, ease it down, ease it down. There you go. And cease. There you go. And a bit further forward. That's it. And like that. Good. Okay, right. We are almost in the zone. Let's just uh, ch adjust the angle to perfection. Uh, let's keep going, keep going, just a little bit further forwards. A bit further forwards. It's already green. I could probably go now, and it'd be grand. Uh, but I want to be, uh, I want to be bang on the money. Uh, but I suppose using a boat hook, uh, we'd probably be, uh, we'd probably be grand about here. But I'm going to get this absolutely bang on to give myself the best chance of not hosing this next bit. Because uh, if I hose the next bit, then I get no fish, and uh, and and little Timmy uh, will go hungry. Uh, right, okay, that's that's good. We've got the running lights on, we've got the work lights on. Uh, we'll stick the interior lights on, and we'll stick the searchlight on. There we go. Uh, we're letting everybody know that business is occurring. Haul the gear. Would you like to haul the long line? Yes. Uh, you must wait four hours. Done that. Uh, yeah, you've been out for ten. It's all good. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Bring it in. Okie dokie, right. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you've got to, I've got to thwack him with a stick. Alright, okay, good. Haul it in. What what happened there? Did I just cancel the haul in? What uh, what occurred there? I'm I'm just guessing that I broke that badly. Set gear. I've got no gear left to set. Can I not haul Oh I, I broke it! Oh Oh that's very frustrating. Um, 
Okay. Because what you have to do, you've got to, you've got to whack it. And there, there will have been more than one fish on that line. I'm really certain that there will have been more than one fish. Oh, well, that's rubbish. We'll turn the searchlight off. Well, you don't deserve the searchlight. Uh, right, okay, let's go to the next lot and hope we don't make quite such a pig's ear of it. Uh, and uh, and then, uh, then this time, I obviously hit cancel or something uh, while uh, while trying to uh, trying to retrieve my fishing line. Um, oh, that's, that's a that's a blow. Uh, good news, wasn't very expensive. Um, bad news, what an idiot. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's let's make this one good. Make this one a good one. Make this one a keeper, people. All right, it breaks on. Yeah, yeah, steady on. Do do the driving. That's it. Yeah, we can see it. I see it. Okay. Right, and then we'll uh, we'll adjust our uh, just our bearing here. No, no, you're going backwards. Don't go backwards. Forwards. Forwards is the way to go. And there you go. Right, gently, gently does it. Gently does it. Get it in range of the uh, of the broadside here. That's it. And then gently, gently does it. Gently does it. Stop flooring it every time you want to move like three feet. Oh no, you you pooched that one. Well, oh no, it's all gone. Oh, flipping Nora. Uh, right, right. This way. Let's do that again. Try not to snag the line in the propeller. Uh, that would be uh, less than ideal. And set the speed for something straightforward. Okay. That's it. There you go. Right. Drop drop it a little bit more and then we'll just we'll coast uh, to the uh, to the other boy and uh, and bring it in. Uh, now, at this point I should probably point out that you Americans insist on pronouncing things buoy. You're wrong. It's boy. Um, yes, I know it's it's pronounced exactly the same way as the uh, as the gender-based boy. Uh, but no, it's pronounced boy, not buoy. You sound silly when you say buoy. Ignore the spelling. It's the English language. It has no real rules to speak of. Uh, right. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. I mean, that used to perplex me on a regular basis on Baywatch. I never knew what they were talking about. Head out to the buoy. What's a buoy? Crazy people trying to pronounce things the way that they're spelled. Uh, right. Okay. Here we go. Now then. No, I want this one. This one here. Don't make me go for the other one. I don't want to go for the other one. There you go, look. Peachy King. No, 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 no. That was all looking good. That was all looking good. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Right, ease it down, ease it down, ease it down. Let's uh, let's be a bit more precision with this one. Let's not make quite such a dog's dinner of it. No. And a bit bit more forwards. Bit more forwards. Bit more forwards, that's it. And uh, with a with a bit of starboard action on the go there. No, we're outside the killing zone. No, you've you've wrecked it. You're too something, too far away. That's okay. We won't be too far away for long. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm coming about, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll get it back in the uh, in the danger zone. Right, here we go. Keep it coming about. That's it. Get in there. I really, what I want here is I want Lars on the uh, on the boat hook. Uh, just kind of going. I've got it, Captain. Because I insist that they call me Captain. Um, I'm wearing a hat and everything. Uh, that's it. No, no. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. You don't need to uh, afterburn as this. Why are you making this so difficult? It's really not that complicated. All right. There we go. Right. You're in the zone. Ease down on the throttle. Ease down on everything. No, no. Don't put it backwards. You had it. It was good. It, it was good. It's now less good. Right. This time, don't panic. Right. Yes, I would like to haul in the long line. Got one. Fish. Get in my bucket. And got that one as well. Okay, good. Right. Is that it? All right, we've got 17 redfish. We've got four pollock and two haddock. Okay, all right. Well, that's, that's some fish. Uh, I want to gut them. Uh, storage fish gutting them right here we go the gutting mini game uh, here we go we've got 213 kilos ungutted uh, let's see here we go from here we go yeah fish four and a bit stars I'm the 
Forgotten King. Next one. All right, here we go. That one wasn't quite as good. How was that? Oh, no. Apparently, that was better. Excellent. Good. Got that fish. And... Yeah! Oh, too quick. No, you didn't do a good job on that one. But we uh, we clearly made it. Yeah, there's only a three star. Um, okay, well, 213 uh, kilos of, of fish. Terrific. Let us uh, turn the work lights off. We're not working anymore now. The running lights we want on. Work lights off. Uh, right, let's uh, let's set sail for home. And uh, and go and see what we want. No, that's, we don't want to go there. We want to go back to hammer time. Because uh, Hammer Time's got everything. Uh, right, okay, let's just just bring it over here. Wang it in there. Give me a waypoint. Let's go about here, and then about there. And uh, faster travel. So with the, with, the, with the faster travel there, see, look, it's, uh, life, is, life is considerably less, uh, less slow paced. All right, here we go. Now then, we're coming back into port. Uh, sound the hooter. Like that. Uh, and then off we go. Now, I don't have the greatest of track records uh, when it comes into uh, to parking up portside. Uh, no, typically I will uh, uh, I will engage ramming speeds uh, in inappropriately, and uh, and I'll go toe to toe uh, with the port itself, and uh, and the port will inevitably win. Um, I've, uh, the reason that my boat is at, at uh, l less than ninety percent health, uh, that's down to me parking. Yeah, nothing, no other reason, uh, and it's uh, actually it's less it's less coming in where I do the damage. It's more going back out again uh, that uh, the, the trouble uh, at mill occurs. Like trouble at port, I suppose it goes. Um, anyway, here we go. Right, we're coming in. I've got a, a very respectable three knots on the go at the moment. Uh, I could really do with some like hydrofoils or something uh, in order to to really whiz this around. Um, as you can see, I've got a giant purple box to land in. Uh, it really, it really is going to prove uh, very tricky for me to get this completely wrong. But uh, watch. All right, here we go. Get it close up to these uh, these usefully recycled, environmentally friendly bits of rubber. Uh, what we could do here is uh, we could do with some thrusters. Uh, that's no, that's what I call them. You know, it allows you to go sideways. That's probably near enough. Uh, we'll lasso this uh, this bollard here, and uh, and here we go. Uh, dock at hammer time, please. There we go. Uh, right, we're selling two. We're selling 13 kilos of uh, of uh, haddock uh, for uh, 182 crowns. All right, and then uh, four ki uh, 57 kilos of pollock for 1,300 crowns, and then 143 of redfish. You know what? Redfish isn't worth the hassle. Uh, right, okay, well, yeah, sell all that. Go on, get it done. I'm up to 92 grand. Come on. Uh, my port reputation has improved. Excellent, excellent job. Uh, price per kilo, 20 for Pollock, 16 for Redfish, and 10 for Haddock. Well, I'm, I'm chasing the wrong fish then, aren't I? Uh, there we go. I made three and a bit, uh, three and a bit Gs. Um, good, right, good. All right, that's uh, that's magnificent. Uh, a two-line hook, uh, the 250-line hook baited with krill, and uh, yeah, okay, that's uh, that's good. Uh, so so there you go. That, that's uh, that's fishing there in the Barent Sea. Um, let's uh, let's go to the shop. See what we could have won. That's the wrong button. Um, no, go to the shop. Shop there, right? Uh, now that we can hand, we can hire some crew. Uh, to help us with stuff, but honestly, there's not enough room on the boat. I'll do it manually for the moment, and plus, I'm not paying anybody anything until I've made a bit more cash. Uh, boat services, uh, towing. No, I don't need any of that. I don't. I could probably possibly go for some fuel. Uh, oh, fish market. No, 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 no. So we're not interested in that. Uh, right, Ki uh, cod uh, is uh, 18 crowns for a kilo for the for the big stuff, um, but Pollock, Pollock's where it's at. Yeah, let's go. Let's go shopping for Pollock. This uh, this uh, this triple finned that looks almost exactly like a haddock, but is a little bit more silvery. Because redfish, uh, that was a that was a wash up, uh, wash up. Yeah, a wash out. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's bait it with. Uh, which one are we looking at here? 
Are we looking at... We're looking at light green. Okay, so crab's no good for us. That's no good for us. They are mackerel. Mackerel, that's what we want. Yeah. Uh, right, give me a mackerel. Mackerel line. I've got two, two unbaited lines at the moment. Uh, we'll double up on mackerel. And I'll tell you what else we'll do is we'll get a couple more. Uh, 10,000 crowns for another line. Yeah, all right. We, well, we better have them. Um, uh, right. Uh, I'll keep, keep it going with mackerel. We're going, uh, we're going full Pollock here. There you go. Uh, marvellous. Uh, inventory. We've got, at the moment, we've got uh, a wooden uh, fish spanker. Um, now, the steel fish spanker is 50 grand and gets us 4% extra. Uh, okay. Or, do we go with a better knife? Uh, that's not a knife. This is a knife. And uh, and get a better gutting rate. I, I'm not uh, I'm not too bothered. A leather monocular for 100 grand. Um, it seems expensive to me. Uh, well, we might as well get a spanker of some description. Let's go for the steel spanker. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. <clears throat> that'll that'll probably do the trick. And uh, and then we'll uh, we'll set sail once more. Uh, do we feel? Uh, do we need to do anything else? Possibly need to repair my boat. Uh, yes, there is that dock. Ah, hello there. Uh, change the change the name and colour of the text boat. No, no, the Borg is uh, is perfectly reliable. Uh, let's uh, let's fill her up. Eight hundred crowns. Okay, fine. Uh, <clears throat> the hull doesn't need repairing yet. I'm going to get it broken much more than that before we need to do anything else. Uh, right, let's um, let's look at the map here. Uh, we're going for Pollock. Good. That's pretty close. Although, there is a richer Pollock area over there. So I think what I'll do is I will set... No, we will go... Let's go here. Oh, don't go. All right. All right. Let's do it again. There. Do, oh, you, oh, apparently that's crossing land. So we'll go out to there, and then here, and then out to that one. And then... <clears throat> I don't know. It's tough to say. Uh, and then maybe here. And then out to there. All right, okay, out to here, out to that. Yeah. All right, so one thing is we go out to this one, set a line, go out to that one, set a line, do this one, set a line, this one, guess what? Uh, and then come back again, pick these two up, and then head back, by which time that one will be ready. Uh, less hanging around, lots of fish, big bucks, away we go. Uh, right, there you go. That is uh, the fishing for you. Uh, if you would like to see the next mission... Uh, then uh, then leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, that's your fishing. Uh, I may be back for a little more. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you would like to uh, subscribe to this, uh, this channel, you will see uh, a great many different variations on, uh, on the simulation. I'll simulate anything um, if there's a fish involved. And, uh, and why, not, uh, why not subscribe to make sure you, you witness that when it happens. Uh, meanwhile, fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio! Okay, so among the problems that I faced on this particular jaunt was, uh, number one, I selected the wrong kind of bait. Uh, number two, I put the bait in the wrong kind of place. Uh, number three, I didn't do a bang-up job on, uh, on waiting long enough for the bait to have an, a, a, a suitable effect. And number four... I, uh, I didn't exactly do the best job at hauling it all in. So all told, it's something of a miracle that I caught anything at all. Uh, I've since played a little bit more, and I'm significantly more successful. Of course, you're not going to believe me unless you see some kind of videotronic evidence of that. Uh, so, uh, so why not leave a comment to, uh, to suggest that you would like to see another videotronic episode of this? I've got all of the DLC and everything. Uh, and therefore, you know, there's, there's king crabs that we can go after. As soon as I can figure out how to go after them, we should we should probably do that. Uh, anyway, I'll be uh, I'll be back when you give me the word. So uh, you know, give the word.